Hi, welcome. Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on an Acer Aspire laptop. Let's take a look at the model here. If you turn it around, take a look at the back, you should be able to identify it says model N23H5. It's an Aspire 317 inch. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I need to have a Phillips screwdriver. This is just a regular PH1. Let's go ahead and remove the screw. We need to remove the back cover to get right into the computer. In this process, I will tell you where you can upgrade the RAM, upgrade the hard drive, replace the, um, the battery, maybe it's the CPU fan, things like that. So it's a complete teardown, a full disassemble on this laptop. So far the screws looks all the same so if you mix mesh the screw I don't see a prob problem here uh, yep the screw does look all the same to me all right once you have removed all the screws the next part is to go ahead and remove the back cover I'll be using a plastic prying too I'm trying to go in between the plastic cover Get right underneath that. All right, that would pop, open up the back cover and you can see the internal part of the computer. It's pretty empty, very basic. There's, there's a lot of empty room here. So like you can see the whole section here is all empty and this is just the battery itself. M.2 there's no RAM for you to upgrade looks like the RAM is already soldered onto the motherboard so that is a disadvantage of this computer all right let me zoom in a little bit if you're looking to replace the battery the model is AP19B 8K what I'm going to do is I'll link it down in the description below where you can um, get the replacement part and the tools directly off from Amazon or eBay um, that way you're not buying the wrong thing so check the link down in the description below i'll link it directly to amazon or ebay all right the two screws i just removed left and right and then to, <clears throat> to disconnect the battery all you have to do is to slide the connector down slide it down towards the body and that's how you remove it and the whole battery will just come right off just a quick note, if the battery is swollen, if you notice that the battery is not holding the charge or the battery is swollen or there's a lump onto the battery, then more likely you need a replacement. This battery here is flat, as you can see there's, there's no swollen or lump on it, so this is a good battery. That's another indicator you can tell. Alright, this is the M.2. To remove it, get a smaller Phillips screwdriver. This is 1.5 millimeter. A smaller version of it and remove the tiny little screw and slide the M.2 towards the body to remove it. It looks like the M.2 running off the 256 gigabyte. If you like to increase to a larger one, uh, you can go ahead and do so. Just a quick note, if you want to extract the data, let's just say that the computer died and you do not want to repair it, how you can do is to buy one of these USB adapter and again I'll link it down in the description below go check it out and this allows you to um to extract the data off of the uh the the m.2 drive okay so all you have to do is just go ahead and slide it in a 45 degree angle like such and then have the uh the rubber or the clip to clip it on and you want to plug it into a different computer and this would act like a usb thumb drive okay and you should be able to see your data off of the uh the adapter all right move on to the next part we want to talk about is disconnecting the uh, cpu fan slide the connector to your left to remove it okay have to screw here remove that and the entire fan will just come right off to find a replacement fan, you might want to look it up on this number here. Or this little fine print for the uh, the replacement 
fan. Next step, disconnecting the Wi-Fi antenna. The two little Wi-Fi just lift it straight up. All right, open up the clipper, slide the cable to your left. Let's peel this tape off. Open up the clipper, slide the keyboard, open up the clipper, slide the trackpad. This is your CMOS, okay, slide the connector down. This is your speaker, slide the connector down. And this is the uh, LCD cable. Open up the little plastic, flip open the clipper, slide the LCD away from you. And that is the DC jack to open up the, uh, um, to charge the, uh, the motherboard and the battery. So that is the DC jack connector. Got a Phillips screwdriver, a tiny one. Go ahead and remove the screw. One. Two. Three. And four screws in total. Once you have removed all the four screws, the motherboard will just come straight off. Okay. It looks like there was a water damage. I do see some stain right there. It might be a small water damage, but there might have been a reason why the computer stopped working. Is there any uh, sign of burn water damage here? I'll take a closer look at the end of it. So far, by inspecting the motherboard, it looks okay to me here. I don't see any burn mark or anything on the chipset. So this is fine. All right, so talk about the keyboard. Looks like the keyboard is not replaceable. It is a full assembly keyboard, meaning that you would have to change the entire keyboard altogether. All right, so let's go ahead and remove three screws here. Once that three screws are removed, you can go ahead and open up the hinge. Flip it open, just push it all the way up. And that is your tiny little DC jack connector that charges the, uh, the motherboard. Okay, come again. The left side of the, uh, the screen, the left hinge. All right, this is the Wi-Fi antenna cable. Just run around the little grid gap. Open up the uh, hinge. And at this point, you want to slide the keyboard out just like such to remove the full keyboard assembly. Okay. So again, uh, the keyboard is not replaceable. It's just well, not one key, it's the full assembly. If your keyboard is bad, you would have to replace the full keyboard like such, okay? Unfortunately, that's how they make it. Um, there you go. All right, to install, you're just going to slide it back in. Close the hinge down on both sides. And you want to align that until the thing clips on it and have the three screws back in it. It's pretty straightforward. And you want to do the same on this side of it. Okay, and then realign the Wi-Fi antenna cable, just kind of go along the gap. And it should be somewhere around here. And the motherboard. Now, I'm not going to put the motherboard back in because I need to diagnose the motherboard. There was a problem with it. 
So I need to see what's going on. I do see some stain of liquid right there. One, two, three, four, five, a couple of them here. The computer is not turning on. I just want to see, was it a water damage or liquid damage? Um, why don't we just peel this thing off and take a look at it together. Just a quick inspection. Everything looks okay to me. All right, it does look clean. Well, I'll further diagnose the problem and then I'll take it from there. But all in all, you just have to replace the motherboard like such have to screw back in put all the cables back in that should be it all right uh, hopefully this video is helpful to you if you do, do find the video is helpful please uh, smash the like button for me and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe and again um, if you appreciate my work and want to support my channel uh, please click on YouTube super thanks YouTube super thanks allow you to uh, share your gratitude and uh, show your appreciation. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.